Hi, this is Dr. Karthik Gunasekran from the Metro Mill Clinic and Fertility Center at uh, Tinaga and Thorai Pakum, Chennai. Uh, today I thought I'd talk to you about the mechanism of uh, erectile dysfunction and uh, explain a little bit about the anatomy of the penis. Now, what you see here is the cross section of the penis and the penis is a muscular blood filled organ and it has got three hollow tubes these two tubes are called the corpora cavernosa and this hollow tube is called the corpus spongiosum. Now these two tubes, the corpora cavernosa, are interlinked at the glance of the head of the penis and are just blood filled spaces. So basically blood flows in under the influence of stimulation. There is a signal that comes from the uh, nerves in the spinal cord and blood flows inside under the influence of uh, certain neurotransmitters. So these are just vascular blood filled spaces and then these enlarge and erection occurs. Now this hollow tube is called the corpus spongiosum and it just carries sperms and it also carries urine. Now in order for erection to be maintained, these vascular tubes have to expand which means this has to be highly elastic and blood has to flow inside. Now, if these two corpora lose the elasticity, as happens in the case of diabetes or in the case of old age, then expansion will not occur and the blood will not flow in. Also, when the expansion does not occur, the vascular sinusoids don't get compressed against this outer layer of the penis, which is called the Bux fascia. So, if there is no compression occurring, then the blood from here will actually run off through these veins which is another reason why erection will not maintain in older individuals and also in people with diabetes. So simply speaking, this is the mechanism of erection, but this can be uh, easily remedied by certain lifestyle factors and by certain medications. Hope you've had like fun watching this video. If you like us, please subscribe at uh, www.metromailclinic.com slash YouTube.